Ben, Ben from the Amputee Angler. Uh, today we are about to head off to go out turbo fishing again. Uh, just got to get some fuel, rods are in the car, gears in the car. <clears throat> Put one tank of fuel on yesterday, got to go and pick another one up. Do about two tanks of fuel a day, so just under about 45 quid for a day's wrecking out in the channel. Not wrecking, uh, fishing out in the channel. And I've got my mate Dean coming with me today. Um, he's fished before, never caught a turbot though, so I'm hoping that they're going to be there again. Uh, doing the footage from last trip out with my partner Ellie, and that's uh, the footage actually has come out quite well. So we're going to go again today. Um, plan today, nip out the harbour, get a bit of bait, um, and then get out to the banks as quick as possible. They were given a bit of northerly wind first thing this morning, but it doesn't seem to seem to be here, which is good. So we're going to grab a bit of breakfast first, uh, get a nice bacon roll and a cup of tea. No rush. High water's just just been and gone, so we're going to get the gear on the boat while the while the pontoons are nice and flat. And then we're going to be off out there, and then we'll uh, get recording after that. So we shall see you out there. Good morning. Um, we're out on the boat now. Dean's already caught a couple of a uh, couple of mackerel. Well, I'll show you Dean in a minute. I don't think you've seen him yet, but um, yeah, we're already having a bit more success than we did the other day when I was with Ellie in the morning. Um, so you know, two mackerel is eight baits. So that's Andy. Um, it's always nice to get a bit of bait before you get out. However far it is we're going to be going today, um, it's always at risk of, oh, am I going to get any bait? But now we've got a couple now, so just back at the West Arm here in New Haven. And we're going to continue to get a bit of bait and then we're going to bomb off. So I'll uh, see you out there. We've got to the banks now, guys. Um, a little bit of chop here, it's a little bit of northerly wind. It's due to die off later. Um, but it's not too drastic. Three rods down now, I've got two. Dino's got one down. Dino's never done turbot fishing, so an interesting experience uh, fishing the ebb tide at the minute and this this marks primarily a flood tide um, from what I've seen and as I understand it from others so I'm not expecting great things but you never know um, let's fish on the ground we're just going up the bank now if you look on the bank they know it's starting to come up the bank so we're starting to come up the bank now so we're going to get bites it's going to be now today simple running ledger as per what, another video i'll put a link in the description below um 60 circle hooks and j hooks cut the loomy beads dino has got a spoon on and then a slice of mackerel fillet that we caught earlier on as you saw in the video if anything happens i'll uh, i'll let you know <laughs> there you go spoke a bit too soon there wasn't expecting anything first drift we've got a fish on don't want to jinx it it does feel feel like a flat doesn't feel big, but it feels like a flat. See what happens. Cut the little pulls down. It was there, so I reeled in and we we're into it. Probably gonna look silly now, and it's not gonna be a flat. It'll be something, something completely different. So I Dean on the way out with turbo because they're a flat fish. When they're fighting, it can feel like it's got a bit of weight, and as they suddenly go go flat. They almost kite up through the water. Right. It's a nice constant reel. Keep the tension on the hook. No pump in the line, just constant reel. It's not good. It does feel flat fish like. A little bit of weight to it. Dino's got a bite now as well. You in? And Dino's in as well. Double hook up. You can't see it off camera, but double hook up. And I've told you I've looked silly, you've got a dogfish. And that's not nice, nice turbot. There we go. First drift, first fish, turbo. Boom, and Dino's got one as well. You stop there, you jump, you've got a you got to be careful of your rod. There we go. Yeah, first fish. Well Lovely little turbot. Keep it out of the way for a second. I'll get a photo of that in a minute because Dino's got a fish on here. This is his first time turbot in. There's the rig. There's the red, simple running ledger, couple of little loony beads, so a bit of mackerel fillet. Oh, Dino's got one. 
This is Dino here, got his first turbot, hopefully. He's called a dogfish, but we're not sure. He hasn't caught a turbot before. There's our one from the bucket earlier. They see that, have a look at it. Oh, he has, he's called it. He's got a dogfish. Oh, Dino. Oh, Dino. But there we go. Dreaded dogfish for Dino. Never mind, mate. Next time round. <laughs> and there we go. There we go, guys. I'm trying not to stand up here in my dodgy legs, but hopefully he plays ball. Lovely little turbot, first drift. So a turbot from a brill, turbot a lot more rounder. They've got some lovely bumps on their back as well. This one's a baby, he's gonna go back. Um, but yeah, first drift, first turbot and a dogfish. Boom. Dino's turn to get in now. I've got one a minute ago, I think I'll have a bite of mine. Huh? Yeah, that's a big one. Listen it. Oh, a turbot, listen it. And Dino's got a nice turret. Hang on, keep it, keep it, remember what I told you? That's caught up, stop, there you go. All right, there you go. Dino just caught his first turret. Hey. Hey. There you go. Oh, brilliant. There you go, it's not a big one, it's, no a, it's a little baby. Hold it up there, Dino, give us a, give us a picture. There you go, look at that. Dino's first turret. Second drift, two turret. I've got bites on mine as well, but main goal today was to get Dino a turbot and we've achieved that in the first 10 minutes so Dino you happy? Yep. Tip awesome. Top. Third drift, third lot of fish. Dino might have lost this. I've got one on now. That was turbot here again. Wind's picked up a little bit more than I thought it was going to but it's fine we're here now. There's another turbot but it's a small one. Oh, that's a brill. It's a brill this way, mate. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Feel like it might have been a brill, but... Oh, no, that's a turret. Yeah, another little turret. Nice little one, that one. There you go. Turret number three, drift number three. And another lost fish as well. So, looking like the fish are here again today. Lovely little fish. It's Dino in again. I think I've got something planned about on mine, but we're gonna concentrate on Dino. Get the net ready. Trying to do too many things at once here. I think I've got one on my one, but Dino's got one solid hooked up here. I think I've got one latched onto mine, but let's get ready. They're heavy coming up, don't they? They go flat. They pull themselves through the water. It's like pulling a dustbin lid through the water. Get everyone up a little bit higher. That's it. And Dino. Come out the back of the boat a bit more, this one. Enjoying yourself so far? Yeah. <laughs> so he's never caught a turbot today, and he's got one now. And this looks a better fish, this one. This is a better fish. That's a better fish. That is Dino's dinner. Come on, Dino, bring it in. Yeah! And that, yeah. that is a dinner turbot. Oh, hello. Oh. That is a good old turbot. Yes. Dino, that yeah. is a lovely turbot, my man. Well done. Oh, cheers, Ben. Do what you've got to do then, Dino. That there is a a fine old turbot. Yeah, look, out the pipes. Yeah. Need it. There you go, that's out. Chuck that away, let that down the side, boat. We'll fill it up in a minute. That's bad. Oh. Yeah, get a photo of the first thing. Oh, yeah, sorry. And what I'll do is I'll bleed it as well. With turbot, I'll show you how to do it in a second. You've got to put a little cut in there, Spike. I won't film it because. Some people don't like that sort of thing, um, but you bleed them out basically, or you cut the gills. 
stop some meat from being spoiled. There you go. Uh, let's get, get a nice photo, there we go. There you go, I'm going to get some nice photos on there. Have a turn on that, mate. Drift number five. Fisher drift so far, if not more, we've dropped a couple as well. I always feel like I've got a bit of weight to them. You say they've got a bit of weight to them, they come up and they look tiny. <laughs> but it feels a bit better. Shouldn't have, gone to, shouldn't have gone to the gym yesterday. <laughs> there it comes, see a bit of colour. Ah, oh, he's having a nice one, mate. He's having that line, that's why. Oh, it's a nice one, mate. Nice biggest, not biggest Dino's one. It's a lovely turbot. There we go. Number one. Bonefish, Ben and Dino, killing it today. Number one there. This is turbot number seven, I think it is. Seven? Seven. Eight. Number eight. Turbot number eight now. Didn't even know this one was on there, he was just sitting on there and um, a friend of mine just joined us out here on the, on the bank, a friend of mine from Brighton, old John. Um, but yeah, so I didn't even know it was on there, bringing it up and I looked into him. Another one, little baby one, it's going to go back. And we'll carry on, rocking and rolling. Well this one for Dino. Nice one, dude. In that zone now, just come out the top of the bank. Let's get a bit closer, I'll get the net ready, alright. Nah, it's there, not the night, that's it. Yeah, okay. There's a fish on that one, though. Oh, and this one. All going on now. All going on now. We've got bites on both rods now. I think I might have one on still. I'm going to knock on this one. Might still be there. You reckon, mate? Yeah, I think it's a little. Yeah, it's like not there. Yeah, you good? I don't know. I've got bites on that one. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, fish on. Fish, 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 fish. Yeah, you got one, Dane, get in it, mate. And it's got one. And I've got one on here as well. Shake and get him in quick. Well done, Dean. Another one for Dean. I've got a bite on here as well. Too busy watching what's going on. Well done, Dean. And we're fish on here as well. Too small, we need. Yeah, way too small. Get a photo, don't get your photos. That's oh, fine, you got, you, got, you got your camera down. I think so, yeah, I've got my camera. Yeah, that's fine, okay. Right, keep your rod in, yep. and then take hold of my other one. Because yep. I think I've got a bite on that as well. Let's see if we can get three fish for one drift here. The Dino's have a nice little turbo. Hopefully you can see this on the camera. I don't know if it's on there, it's not on there, I had a bite. Just keep, just fish oh, it. Is, just, like is there? Was it the way? No, well, you should know. Yeah. Is there one on there? I think so, yeah. It's a bit odd. Yeah, there's one on there. Another one? Yeah. Right, I might have another one on the other rod now, so this could be... It's got a bit of weight on it. This is you. This could be free fish here, I don't want to jinx it. But it could be free fish, it's got a light. No, it's just for a bit of money. Oh, this could be free fish here for one drift. This one, thing. Yeah, it's gonna need a net. Isn't it? All right, this is either foul hooked or it's got a bit of weight to it. I'm probably gonna make myself look silly again in a minute now and pull up a little butt turbot, but it's got a bit of weight to it. This one, yeah, this 
one's got a bit of weight to it. Okay. Oh, whichever comes up first, mate, but just be quick on the net. Oh, I got colour, I got colour. Oh, don't, Dean, get the net. Oh, it's a lovely. That's a lovely turtle just in the mouth. Oh, don't go over here. Yes, got him. Oh. Hello? Don't say that. Oh. Oh, we were going for free there. We did all right, we did all right. Well done, mate. Oh, that's a cracker. Yeah, yeah. He won't get out. Look at him, sir. I love him. It's not a loser on my Lumi Beach. <laughs> there you go. Boom. Well done, mate. Done all right, that drift. Well, uh, hey, we have three fish on at one point there, and that's a lovely turbot. That is a beautiful fish. It's beautiful, isn't it? There we go, guys. Nice little tub gurnard. Those paddles on there, like, eh? Those colours. First gurnard I've had here today. It's a nice size. Really good eating these. Really, I don't eat fish, but from what I've been told, um, they're really good eating, but I don't like putting these in the frying pan. So he's going to go back. Second fish of this drift here, I don't know what it is. I'm not even going to call it. <laughs> going to give up with that now, but something's on. It's not big, but it's another fish. Oh, a baby one. Baby turbot. That is the babiest of baby turbots. Right there is turbot number 11. I don't know if we got it in before lunch. No, just after lunch, but we'll take that. Turbot number 11. Ty's not even turning yet, and the hook just fell out. There we go. Of course, tell turbot. They've got some nice bumps on their back. You feel it. They're like little, little, what do you call them? What do you, what do you call that? Little, little bumps, aren't they, I suppose? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, little nymphs there. Yeah, Dean's, Dean's well educated, I'm not. Dean calls it nymphs on the back there. Um, and all they do is they sit on the bottom and then when something comes along, they snap out their mouths. Look at that for a mouth. You can't really see it there. This, this is a tiny little turbot. And I like, well, I like circle hooks, but I also like these Camazan J hooks. And this is a, if I can unhook my finger from it. This is a size six. And look how look, that that's easily goes in there, look, easy. But well, he's going to go back. Turbot number 11. Down he goes. Oh, this one arched over. This is going. I don't know what this is. Ah, it's going some. Have you seen any colour yet, Dean? No, no colours yet. I'm around that line, that's what I want. No, I'm not. It's a big gurnard. Big gurnard. Oh, massive. That is a big old gurnard. Go on in, Dean, let that. You got him? Yeah. Oh, that's a yeah. lovely gurnard. Oh, he's gorgeous. That is a lovely gurnard. That there is beautiful. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that. Look at that. Oh. That there is a, is a personal best gurnard. That's beautiful. Can you hear it grunting? I don't know if you can make that out on the camera. Circle look there in the job. Doing the job, I keep telling everyone. Circle looks in the corner of the mouth. So, this is how you know if you've got a cuttlefish. Is, they've got beaks like parrots. And maybe you've got live baits or dead baits, so they will literally take chunks out of your baits. Telltale sign. Oh, finally, we haven't had a fish to the boat for a couple of hours now. The tide slowed right down over slack water and we started picking up a few gurnards and dogfish and then started getting plagued by cuttles and I've got a bite again now. Back in the game. <sighs> Another little chunky turbo. Circle looks again. Boom. And there we go, we're out. Back on again. Tice picked up, another drift. Another fish. There it is. Another turbot. 
Go! <laughs> Here's another one. Our friend John's over there, just letting me know we've got one. Right in there that time, well looked. Okay. Another lovely turbo. Number 13. Don't look in the one on the floor, down there. Dino suddenly come on, and then he, we think Dean's lost his one. And then my one's come on now as well. Second rod. See everyone's still on the floor, he's deep up this one, I'm not sure he's going to make it, he's, he's well down there. Oh Dean, what are you doing? Oh, no. you, you, I'll tell you what, the only difference between me and you is the length of that trace. Yeah. And I've said that before, and that's why I don't like long traces. You think you've got a long time to go to strike and reel before that weight, you've got, it's got all that slack. Trim, that, uh, trim it off a little oh, bit, yeah. Trim that one behind that spoon. Yeah. It's the only difference between me and you today is the length of that trace. You've got a long trace and mine's short. You think they've got all that extra slack to play about on? Yeah, no problem. I've got, I've got that foot. Well, we've called last drift here, but well, hopefully last drift. We want Dean to get a fish and he's he's hooked into something. Don't know what it is, but we wanted to get one more, and then we're on 15 turbo, and then we're all good. So I'll come back to you in a minute. Oh yeah! Oh, yes. oh. <laughs> that was worth. <laughs> That's a that is another fine turbo. Don't worry about that. Yeah, that's out. You do what you got to do. You sort that out. I've got to, oh, I've got a bite there, you? <laughs> go, Dean over and have a turbo. Might be the last of the drift, I'm not sure. We're going home after this now, we're both beat. But 15, 15 turbo, and that's a nice uh, table size one to end with there, so happy days. Go on, Dean. 15 turbo today. Would have had a lot more. We could stay easily stay here for another few hours if we wanted to and we'd, we'd, we'd you know we'd add, really add to that number um, but a couple of good ones today nice size good table size fish um yeah nice company today as well that's us we're gonna go home but well undine enjoyed it yeah yeah cheers Great. mate and there we go brilliant day